Well, former President Trump potentially staging a comeback, certainly getting a big bump over the weekend with a strong showing at the Conservative Political Action Conference, or CPAC, easily winning the 2024 GOP presidential nomination poll. Let's bring in Yahoo Finance's Rick Newman, who is following that story for us. And Rick, uh, the, pres the former president has made it pretty clear uh, he's still got ambitions, potentially, for the White House again. Uh, how should we read uh, this poll that came out over the weekend and the fact that the president still has a very strong lock on that party? Rick, I think you're muted. I'm sorry, Akiko. It happens to the best of us and the worst of us. <laughs> uh, Trump um, ran away with this poll. He got 70 percent of the vote when uh, people were asked who would they choose as their presidential nominee in the next election. Ron DeSantis, Florida governor, only got 21 percent. He was he came in second. So what that tells you is Trump is still very, very popular among conservative Republicans. Remember, this is the conservative political action conference. So this represents uh, an important part of the, uh, the Republican Party, but not the entire Republican Party. You could also look at it as this actually poses a problem for the Republican Party because they just can't shake Trump. And after the uh, January 6th riots at the U.S. Capitol, uh, it seems pretty apparent that if he were to run again, he would get a lot of conservative votes, but he probably cannot get the centrist votes that he would need to actually win a general election. So Trump keeps teasing that he wants to run again in 24. Uh, my guess is he will not run again in 2024, but we know what he's doing here. He wants to keep himself in the news and he wants to keep his name in the headlines. It's helping him raise money. And to his mind, it probably helps with everything else he wants to do, whether it's starting up some kind of media network or social media network or whatever might come next. And Rick, here we are talking about it. So clearly that strategy is working. What right. does it say about the midterms, though, uh, moving forward? I mean, we're talking about 2024. Still, you've got the midterms in between here and what the Republican strategy is likely to be uh, to win back and, and take back uh, Congress. We're not entirely clear what their strategy is, but the math does favor uh, Republicans for at least a couple of reasons. Uh, the president's party traditionally uh, actually loses seats in Congress during midterm elections. There's just a bit of a snapback among voters. Uh, that's a that's a normal thing. And uh, Republicans are going to benefit from redistricting. They're they're going to pick up um, probably more advantageous districts than Democrats will. But look, uh, it's also the case that what President Biden doing uh, his his uh, moves are pretty popular. Uh, it's not clear the Republicans have come up with a good way to politic against that. We know that they are going to be hitting Democrats on crime uh, in certain areas. Uh, there's been some reporting recently that this is going to come down to people in the suburbs who did go for Biden in 2020. Uh, if they turn back toward Republicans, that's uh, that'd be a good thing. But what Biden has going for him is the economy is looking pretty good right now. It will probably be looking better with lower unemployment by the midterms. And voters might be feeling um, pretty, pretty uh, good off. So we'll see how that plays out. Okay, now you'll be on top of that one. Rick Newman joining us there. Thanks so much for that.